were you most nervous about about going into a re reboot with Fuller House? Honestly, I I was just thrown into it. Like I I got there, uh, I got to the audition room and like 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 the final audition, and then in the room after my audition, like. Like, you basically got the part. And then that day, they cut my hair, they gave me a script. Like, it was like some... I, I didn't even have time to process any of it. Um, but going into it, I, I think I think just, you know, trying to get into that family that's, you know, been established for, like, 30 years, that's definitely... That, that, that was, like... That was my, my worry. I didn't think I was going to, you know, fit in. Because, you know, I, I was, like, the new kid, along with, the, you know, two other uh, kids on the show. But, um... Yeah, I think I think that was it more than anything. But that was like that was a while ago. We're we're all we're all good now. <laughs> How did you develop that family chemistry within that tight group? Honestly, we are such like we're so close now that I can't even imagine like 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 the first day when I didn't even know their names because um, they they're all so nice. Like like they were just very accepting. Uh, you know, like hey, like yeah, like come on. I remember you know when I was on Full House and I didn't know anyone, and so they 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 kind of related to us and they really brought us in along with you know John Stamos and and, and Dave Coulier and and all that and, and all of them the legacy cast super amazing I, I literally feel like they are my my grandpa and, and you know grandma and all that kind of stuff it's great so what's the best uncle Jesse life lesson the best wait what, what do you mean the best uncle what's the, has he taught has oh. John Stamos taught you anything like, as as uncle Jesse as in real life or you mean real life yeah in real life yeah. that is an interesting question I've never been asked this before um oh my goodness John he's literally so cool I love John uh but if I I don't think he's like ever taught me something direct actually wait no that's this is an, one thing that, that that he taught me he tried to teach me in season one uh he he does like this weird like acting exercise with his voice i think that's and 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 uh it's it's like called like the perfect voice or something i don't even know i, I totally don't even remember what it was but uh he taught me how to like control my tone of voice so I sounded more powerful. I don't even know what that was about. But uh, besides that, that's just like weird random thing. Uh, just him, you know, living by example. He's just so cool and I look up to him for sure. What's that exercise look like? I want to see it. <sighs> oh my goodness. Um, he's like, I, I think, I think what it was is, is uh, it was, you know, <laughs> my voice was very high in season one. All right. Let me tell you that right now. Uh, he was like, it was something about like 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 you have to go like 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 pow, but it's like it's like you have to like do it from the back of your voice and like like you warm it up so then like once you talk to people like oh hi like hey I'm it, I don't I don't know it's it's it stays it stays it, throughout it, the character it stays, yeah yeah I I, th I think that's what it, it was a weird thing I don't I wish I could like perfectly recreate it but I don't know <laughs> sorry. Oh, that was awesome. So there's amazing products inside. What's the coolest thing you've ever gotten in a swag bag? Oh, you mean like here? In general. Oh, just anywhere. in like anywhere, any yeah. gifting suite. Any gifting suite. Oh boy, uh, that's a that's a good question. I remember one time I got this go kart, and that was by far the cool. I still use it to this day, and I got it like three years ago. No, it's so much fun. That is so cool. Uh, it, it was a go kart, and 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 um, it was special because the back wheels were like grocery. Uh, gr grocery cart kind of thing. So like, if you turn, like it spun you around. Oh, it was like it's like Mario. Yeah, it was like Mario Kart. I felt like I was in Mario Kart. It was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us just the one one sentence example of what it's like growing up in front of the camera. A one sentence yeah. example. Um, oh man. Uh, one word. One word about growing up in front of the camera. One word. Um, Gosh, there, there's so many things. Uh, if I had to just sum it up, just for full, just my own personal experience, uh, absolutely amazing. Really, it's been absolutely amazing. I've had so many great opportunities. I've met so many amazing people, and the set is just so stress-free. Like we are all just one big happy family. We're just doing a show. It's yeah, it's uh, absolutely amazing. Is definitely the word I would use. So one final question. I saw you do a beeline for the buffet here. 100%. What's your favorite thing on craft services every single day on set? Every single day on set. Well, I am a huge fan of breakfast. I have huge breakfasts every single day. Uh, and they always have the best. They have um, these little sandwiches that they like put together. It's like bacon, egg, cheese, avocado. And I'm like, yes. And every time they have that, 
I look forward. That's that's what gets me up in the morning. To be completely honest with you, it's like a better McDonald's. Yeah. I love it. It's healthy. It's like California McDonald's. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs>